Right golf mates, today's tip is what we all want. Being a man, I'm not saying it's gonna lower your handicap or anything like that, but there's nothing better than booming a driver, giving it a right whack. Dave, you've got a little tip for us for a few extra yards and uh, a bit straighter as well, you said, didn't you? Oh, well, there's a chance of that anyway. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna create a smoother swing. So with a smoother swing, a bit more efficiency, might help you get a few more yards, but more importantly, it'll it'll probably control the ball a little bit better you said this is a great drill for when if someone's like holding it too tight and all tense yeah you said this can relax you can't you so what you see is a lot of people um snatching the driver away especially on the first first tee shot quite nervy for anybody if they want to get away you're off into the round it sort of sets the the tone of the of the rounds a lot of the time so you see a lot of these swingers and they can snatch the club back. And then when you watch the guys on the telly, they look very smooth and very elegant in how they do it. Ernie. Ernie, absolutely. Um, so this little drill will just help you create a little bit more of a smoother takeaway, which will then carry on through the swing and the transition at the top and help you deliver the club a little bit more uh, smoothly, really, a bit more consistently. You'll have a bit more control, hopefully, over the head of the driver, gives you a bit more control over the ball. For the golf mates who are not new to the channel, you've actually, I have this thing where I lift my hands, don't I? Yeah. And you you are telling me have a go at this, aren't you? Absolutely, yeah, yeah. You think it'll suit me? Because I, obviously we know when I'm ready for taking my shot, I do that, don't I? Yeah. But you're you saying if you're hovering, you'd be struggled to do that, wouldn't you? Yeah, again, if you look at someone like Faldo, he was a big um, starter of the person who hovered the driver. I, I actually hovered the driver myself. Um, just very very uh, lightly off the ground and it just takes away any of that snagging that snatching and creates a bit more of a smoother longer takeaway so i'm going to put it into practice now oh, maybe you uh you maybe you should have a, a little whirl like it Look, after you dave okay thank you sir okay so we're not talking about any difference in the technique or, or changing your swing all we're doing here really is giving you a little tip to give you a little bit of a smoother takeaway get that little bit of smoothness into the start of the swing. So what I see a lot of is people tight over the tee shots and they sort of snatch up or snag it and pick it up quick. Everything then is out of place, out of, out of, out of uh, position, a bit snatchy, the speed's not there. So what this is gonna do is just help soften that. So what I tend to do is I make sure that the top of the club as well, I've got this Callaway here, I've got the little, the little V, and I'll put it in the middle of the ball so I know where the middle of the club face is, set myself up, have a little waggle just to release any tension and when I set the club in just before I pull the trigger I lift the driver off that creates a nice path just to be able to drift the club away that's a nice little thought in your mind just drift the club away don't swing it back at speed or, or, or snatch it back just let the club drift back into position and then you can sort of gradually gain speed as the swing goes on okay so we're going to set ourselves up Get the club in the right position, right in the middle of the ball. Ready, ready to go. We just slightly lift it, hover the club like the old Faldo used to do. Pull the trigger and let it go. Take this to your practice grounds, take it to the range. Have a, have a go at this first, because at first it'll feel a bit funny. It's just going to create that feeling of drifting that club back, not snatching it back. The, the swing will start to gain speed. And then what we'll do is we'll get Liam up here now. What? I'm not on my back. Yeah, it's all right. Don't worry. You got this a ball? Even better. I'll get you a ball. Don't worry. You have that. And have that. My gloves are as well. Okay, so nothing different here now, Liam. Everything the same. My back's killing. It's all right. Just let that club slightly hover before you pull the trigger. Let the club drift away, okay? Good balance finish. Very nice. Now this will take you a little bit of time to get into your game, to get used to the feel, and you'll sometimes you went straight out, you'd forget to do it. Take it to the range, go on the practice ground in the net, just have a go at it. The more you do it, the more it starts to feel natural. It yeah. just helps you with that little initial takeaway of the swing, keeping it nice and smooth. Love it, Dave. Right, Dave, thanks very much, pal. No problem. Just take that out of the screws. Like that. Oh, a good tip that, I enjoyed that. I think uh, someone along the line, I'm struggling with my iron, so I think we're going to have Dave look at me proper. May, uh, maybe an in-depth video. 
a couple of hours that one yeah but we'll fast forward it okay so don't forget follow dave on his social media and uh comment below and don't forget to like the video we'll see you next week